All right. And we'll do the last Vin mission, I'm pretty sure. And then I think we have a race. And then we can start the end game. So yeah, we're pretty damn close to the end of the game altogether. So, I mean, I'm kind of happy because as much as I love doing long games, this is a very long game. So playing anything this long is just like a huge time commitment for me. And it also takes up a lot of editing time. I hope you guys understand um, as much as I give myself shit for like going, hey, editing self, I actually am listening back to every single video. I actually do check the audio every single session. So I really do. <clears throat> and I have to sit there and wait for all the fucking things to queue up. I have to make all the thumbnails. I do everything myself. This is not an invitation to say I'm the I'm a sad YouTuber that does everything by himself because I actually enjoy it. Big difference. Um, but yeah, obviously a large game like this. Like, I'd love to do Ratchet & Clank 1 next, but that's a big time commitment. That's a long fucking game. It's probably equally as long as this in a different sense, I guess. But I still love the Ratchet & Clank series. I'll do it eventually. Um... But, you know, of course, there's always the whole, I gotta figure out what things on an emulator are gonna break, what do I have to fix for the audio. Especially the audio, because a lot of older games on, like, PS1 and 2, well, not all of them on PS2, but PS1 for sure, they actually didn't have, like, sound adjustment options. So I kind of had to wing it sometimes with the audio, and it gets really challenging to do. But, like, a game like, um, a good example is Kingsfield uh, 1. I mean, that took me, like... I don't remember how long. Or Crash 2, for example. Crash 2 is a six-video series, but that took me... whatever that game was, like, four hours for the game. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was, like, four hours for the game, and then it took me... probably... three or four hours to get the time trial. Uh, oh, Ramped, what do you want? Come here. I can't believe it. We were so close. Baron stole the precursor stone right out from under us. And after all of our planning and hard work, Torn has mm -hmm. betrayed the cause. Torn meant well. He was protecting one of our own. We must get that stone back. I'm working on it. Yeah, we're working on it. I've underestimated this Baron. And now it appears he has taken the boy as well. Look, what will the Baron's next move? Well, if I had the precursor stone with all that power, I'd use it to build a giant palace. A palace with the biggest harem of women the world has ever known. Simple plans, not gonna lie. Also, Frampt is on the table now. And there'd be a swimming pool. And now he's not. With chocolate. Slightly minty. Yeah, yeah. A massive pool of gooey chocolate. Then the girls and I would jump in together. What? I want you to go out to the drill platform again. Oh, I know a mission this is now. The main control tower there. It should temporarily stop the Baron's use of eco to harm us. So this is, I believe, the last... No, it's the second to last time that we can use the uh, Titan suit. The third time is right at the end of the game. All right, this one... It's not super duper hard, but it is pretty tight, so... <clears throat> this does have a checkpoint in it, for thank God's sake. And yeah, I screwed this one up by one second on my test playthrough, and I got really bitchy. So, I was a little unhappy when that happened, obviously. So this one, we had to basically just knock out the power. So, the first step, we have to obviously get the mech suit in. Now wait for that beam and then hit the door, because if you don't, you'll actually backwards wind into it and you'll hit yourself with it, and it's really not a fun time. So we got to go through with this thing the first pass, and then the second pass we have to go through with the, uh, on foot. Let's see if I can get... Yeah, there we go. And now, I believe I can... No, there's a metal head up here, I'm pretty sure. Eh? Yeah, Seth knows his shit. There we go. Seth knows everything about this game. Oh, Framps, you're fine. Quit being so rude. He's just doing this because he knows it gets our attention. 
for the record, he's not in pain. He's not fucking, you know, not, you know, malnourished or whatever. No, he's just being whiny. And he knows it gets on our nerves, so we pay attention to him when he does it. Which is really annoying because it's genuinely hard to discern from when he's in actual pain or something because he does this shit so often. Yeah. He said it just now. But I don't think this platforming's too bad. Like I said, surprisingly, this is one of the few times in the game we actually get a checkpoint later on, which is amazing. For Jack 2's sake, that's pretty merciful. Come on. There we go. When I was a kid, I used to call these things spatulas, by the way, because they totally do. They just look like spatulas. I can't be wrong. Also, holy shit, dude. OSHA would have a field day with this place because there's, like, no safety. Maybe that's why Vin's so damn paranoid. It's not because he's probably seen people get mauled to shit. No, man, it's because he's fucking had to work in these conditions for so long. Framped, be quiet. You're being rude, and I don't like it. I mean, you can pet him till the cows come home. He'll just ignore it. He's only getting on the desk because he knows it gets on my nerves, too. So he's... My cat's a fucking sociopath. It's terrible. He really is. Oh, I can't believe I didn't take damage there. <laughs> Alright, so this part... Oh, Framped, you're fine. Calm down. Meow. Yeah? Are you gonna head bump my leg and get angry with me? Well, in a few minutes, I'll take you outside, okay? We'll go outside. I'll go outside with you. You can play with your little friends, and then you'll see that the construction people are still out there, and you'll get really mad. Like I said, the outside cats don't seem to care. He's just like, ugh, there's people in my zone. Actually, get the hell out of this thing. No! This is why I didn't want to be in here. Oh, damn it. There we go. Eh, there we go. I don't know why they didn't provide any music for this section either. It's always baffled me. So I believe... Yeah, there's these two dudes still in here. Ramped. Are you gonna be rude? He's just sitting there staring at my door like... It's open, by the way, but he's just glaring at it. Okay, so we gotta get every single second count in this portion, which is why I'm a little salty I broke those computers early. Yeah. Mm. Are you being pouty right now? I know I probably shouldn't encourage him by making noises at him because it just makes him realize it gets more attention. But it's still very funny to me because he makes the most obscene sounds. He really does. Okay. So this part is really tight and I have never not had this happen where I didn't have like five or six seconds left at the end of it every single time. Like I said, test playthrough, I died at the very last second for one of these, and then I also had, um, oh, I'm gonna get hit. There we go. Do not take your time here. This is all I can tell you. Yeah, he's gonna go run out there and start screaming now. This might be a bad mistake. Oh, boy. Some moves are just terrible. You'll feel it instantly when you make a mistake. And I feel like I've made a few. Uh-oh. This is bad. I'm gonna try and save time here. I might take damage doing this. <gasps> Please work. No, no, this is bad. This is so bad. I'm gonna die. I think I, I, I can't get there, man. <sighs> Last time I did this, I fucked around and tried to look down. Like, oh, look, there's stuff. Oh, don't you do it to me. I barely made it. I know I barely made it this time. And yep, you can die in this elevator. But that's what happened to me last time. See, look at that shit. There's barely any time left. Like, there's no wiggle room for this at all. So yeah, and there we go. We just got Dark Jack ready as well. I don't want to get killed here. <laughs> Only reason I'm doing this is to get the eco. Okay. 
I still wish they gave you different forms of eco to hold on to. I think that would have been so fucking cool. They do it in the third game, but it's only dark and light. I wish they just let you do that, you know what I mean? It's so cool. <sighs> but alas, shoulda, woulda, coulda, didn't. I didn't make the game, so next up is the last main race we gotta do. So I'll see you in the next one.